Hey y'all and welcome back to class here at Move with Sable. Today we're doing a 10 minute ab and booty workout that is going to help you whittle your waist and tone your tushy. If you're new to the channel, thanks for being here and here is where you'll find workouts using my favorite methods. Today's workout is all on the mat. We'll take one minute each exercise. Some are 30 seconds a piece, but I'll talk you through each one. So we're going to do it together from beginning to end. Are you ready? Let's get moving. We're going to start with full plank position. So get ready to put your hands underneath your shoulders and tuck those toes. We're going to take one minute here. So you're pressing your whole body away from the floor. Make sure that you're squeezing those fingertips into the mat using your whole palm. That takes pressure off of your wrist. If you need the modified version of this, you'll just lower the knees right here. And don't forget, if you were joining me for a core for Christmas, make sure that you tag me on social and use the hashtags core for Christmas challenge. This is one of those workouts. We have about 20 more seconds right here. And hold steady here for 10. I'll count you down for three and two and one. Well done. I'm going to pull my left leg up, pull my right leg back. And this is pretzel pose. So you're trying to get right angles in both of your knees. I'm going to go ahead and chicken wing my right foot, pull it up off the mat with my rib cage, pull my belly button in. And what we're doing here is squeezing this butt cheek. <laughs> Squeeze it like you have a little fist back there. Contract, let it out. Contract, let it out here and out. So you're digging deep into those hip muscles, into your hip joint, strengthening your body from inside out. This is one of those mind muscle connection workouts here, mind muscle, okay? You really gotta think about where you're working, find that. Everybody wave with the neighbors. <laughs> Let's hold that contraction, hold it here for three and two and one. Well done. I'm gonna swing that right leg around front and do the same thing on the left. You got two cheeks, y'all. You gotta work on both. The chicken wing that left foot, pull your right angle up in both your legs, pull in, let it out. Pull in, let it out. Now it's these types of mat exercises that are really gonna show you which parts of your body need some extra love, some extra TLC. For me, it's always my left hip. It's a little bit slow to react. I don't like calling it a weak side versus a strong side. I like it to be just your, your side that needs some more care, some more love. Doing good. We got about 15 more seconds. And let's hold this contraction here. Hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. We're gonna set up for forearm plank. So you're gonna take your elbows here right underneath your knees, um, shoulders. Wouldn't that be funny? Elbows underneath your knees. Let's figure that out together. Push out through your heels. Take your one minute. And again, I'll show you the modified option. It's just on the knees, but make sure you're nice and straight here from ribs, hip to knees. And I'm bringing you this workout here from my sunny and warm patio. We've got mild temps here in Southern Alabama in December. Let me know where you are joining me from in the comments and I'll give you a shout out back. about 20 more seconds left in your forearm plank. If you divide this half and half between like modified and full, that's fine. Modification does not mean that you are not working. It means that you're making your workout work for you. 10 more seconds. Yeah, 
here's three, two, and one. Awesome. We're gonna take tabletop position here with a bent leg. So tabletop is hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. So we're gonna pull our right foot up, pushing that heel up, pull it down. Push it up, pull it down. So my right knee is kind of grazing the mat right here. through this, you're keeping your belly button anchored right here under your rib cage. Hips are staying square towards the floor. And you will feel this a little bit more in your right arm because your right leg is not helping you support your right side. seconds left. See if you can get two more reps right here. Awesome. I'm going to give a little shake on that right arm and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Let me turn that around for you. Same thing on your other side. So left leg. Hands underneath shoulders. Pull that up and down. So find that square here. This exercise is getting your hamstrings, it's getting your glutes, but you also have to really stabilize right here in your core. We got about 15 seconds left. Two more, right, two and one. Awesome. Your next exercise is gonna be laying on your side. We're gonna take our right elbow underneath, fold the knees in, and we're gonna push our hips forward so that we can lift and tuck that knee up, take your back and down. Let me show you one more time before we start our time. Okay? Right now I'm gonna punch my clock. You got one minute right here, plenty of time to pay attention to your form. Reach with that hip, pull with that knee. This video pairs really well with my lazy girl leg workout. Gives you a really nice lower body burn and it's all on the mat. Check that out. You're gonna get this here on that glute on the bottom. You're gonna get this here and on your obliques. Oh my gosh, so much body, so many body parts working. Can you give me two more? Last one. Yes. All right, I'm gonna swing that around for you. So we do the same thing on the other side. On your setup, make sure that your elbow is right underneath your shoulder so you protect that shoulder joint, okay? Find that good line when you lift. Here we go. Lift, tuck. Yes. I'm ready to work this side. So do you believe that I like used to hate working on the mat? Now mat work is one of my favorite things to do to challenge myself. We are kicking it here. Yep, we got it. We got about 15 seconds left. And we're feeling strong, right? Feeling so strong. Give me one more. Awesome. Now we're gonna take it onto our back. I'm gonna give my mat a little bit of an adjustment here. And this one, this exercise, we have 30 seconds each side instead of one minute. We're gonna start with my left leg up, right leg is straight. 
Let me show you what it looks like. We're gonna curl up and lower down, okay? And let's kick it, kick it, kick it right here. Sometimes when I talk, I'm instructing for a while, I get tongue tied and I can't talk anymore. One more on this side. Here we go. Nice. Let's pull that in this way. Here we go. Pull it up. So you're really contracting right here, squeezing in tight, lengthening the hamstring. All the abs working. <laughs> We got one more. Yes, we do. And then we're just going to leave our heels down, pull them in for bridge pose. So we're going to pulse them up, take them down. Pulse them up, take them down. Squeeze in that booty right here. Don't over arch in the top. The bridge is one of those underrated exercises for your seat. Some people think that you have to throw some dumbbells on here. You have to throw a barbell to make the most out of your hip thrust. And sure, you know, that works according to your goals. Work according to your goals. That's always great. But at home with no equipment, you can still get a really toned, lifted seat without any equipment and knowing how to isolate these muscle groups. And that's what we're showing you here. and just keep it lifted. Give me tiny squeezes right here. You're almost through this 10 minutes. Hold it up, three, two, and done. All right, y'all. Did you take 10 minutes out of your day to do this workout with me? Let me know in the comments how you felt about it. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can join me here for class more often.